Hi, I'm Jeff Kornberg, and on this episode of The Dragon's Tomb, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Mousetrap. In Mousetrap, it's 1957, the Cold War is upon us, and all of the world's top nations are competing in the global space race to become the first country to travel to the moon and capture an alien. Back then, everyone still believed that the moon was made out of cheese. Because of this, the nations all sent lab mice into space after teaching them how to run this complex alien catching machine. To set up, follow the included instructions and put together the device, which harnesses the power of moon cheese to capture aliens. Since gravity is so much stronger in outer space and moon cheese is already so heavy, the machine helps you build enough momentum to flip moon cheese into this moon cheese receptacle, thus triggering the trap. The machine is made out of everyday items like bathtubs, brooms, and stop signs because in the 1950s, technology in general was still a brand new thing. Once the machine is set, have each player pick which menacing world superpower they'd like to play as, either the USA, Soviet Union, North Korea, or Greenland. Then place your mouse at the starting point. This is the big green alien you're trying to catch. It has large puffy cheeks and is birthing another alien from its chest. Place it underneath the trap at the end of the machine. Now you're ready to start playing. The object of the game is to be the player who captures the alien. The tallest player goes first. On your turn, pick up the number chooser, decide how many spaces you want your mouse to move, and then place that number face up on the table. Then move your mouse that number of spaces. If you land on a moon cheese space, place one piece of moon cheese onto the moon cheese teeter board. If any moon cheese is already there, stack all of the pieces together. If you land on a trap space, you get to try and trigger the trap. Simulate the machine building momentum by tapping the stop sign, picking up the marble, moving it down the steps, through the chute, past the broom, dropping it in the bathtub, catching it as it comes out the bottom, and throwing it onto the teeter board. If there's any moon cheese on the other end, the teeter board will fling them up into the air, where they may potentially land in the moon cheese receptacle. Throughout the game, as more and more moon cheese lands in the receptacle, it becomes more and more likely that it'll be heavy enough to trigger the trap. Once this happens, it causes a cage to fall down, capturing the alien. If this happens on your turn, congratulations, you've caught the alien. However, there are four steel spaces on the board which let you try to intercept another nation's glory. If you land on one of these spots, you may choose to remove all the moon cheese from the teeter board and place your mouse there instead. You'll remain there until your next turn, and if anyone else triggers the trap during this time, your mouse will be flung into the air instead of the moon cheese. If your mouse lands in the receptacle and triggers the cage, you get to take credit for the alien capture. Additionally, there are four red spaces on the board that feature the alien's best friend, Davy Columbus. If you land on Davy, the alien gets jealous that the two of you are hanging out without him and goes to the bathtub to cry. He stays there until your next turn and cannot be captured by any player during this time. Also, unbeknownst to the people of Earth, the moon cheese has actually already attracted a bunch of mice from other galaxies, so much so that the mice have opened up their own private VIP nightclub. If you land on one of the four nightclub entrances, you're invited in to do two hours of free moon cheese service. When you do this, you party so hard that you lose your next turn, but in two turns, you get three complimentary pieces of moon cheese. Throughout the rest of the game, you may put these on the teeter board at any point you wish, which can be a massive game changer. In the end, if you're the player who captures the alien, congratulations, you've just won the game. All in all, this game is a blast to play. I always love factually correct, historically based games, and Mousetrap is the quintessential example of how to do it right. This game is a huge testament to the hard work all of these nations put into making the moon alien free and safe for humans. And it's also the perfect tribute to all of those brave mice still trapped up on the moon today.